Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in eights. In this tutorial we will learn how to count in eights with numbers up to 200. So let's begin with our first example. We've got this number 128 and the question is what number comes after 128 if we are counting in eights. Now we have learnt quite a few methods to do this. The method we're going to use here, which is the quickest method, is simply mental arithmetic. We're going to add 10 and subtract 2. Why? Because we are counting in eights and 8 is 10 minus 2. 8 is 10 minus 2. So let's do this first part. We've got 128 plus 10 is 138. And then we've got the second part, which is 138 minus 2, which is 136. The answer is 136. We added 10 and then subtracted 2. So the number after 128, when counting in eights, is 136. OK, let's look at our second example. We'll do that here. This time we've got 152. And the same question. What number comes after 152 if we are counting in eights? The first stage is add 10 and then subtract 2. So adding 10, 152 plus 10 is 162. Don't forget, the tens changes, the units never changes if we're adding 10. And now we're going to subtract 2. 162 minus 2 is 160. That is our answer, 160. Now once you get the hang of this, you'll be able to do this very, very quickly. And the quicker you can do this, the better it is. Now let's have a look at a slightly different example. So this time we've got two numbers, 144 and 160. In between we've got three blank numbers. Now we have to work out those blank numbers. So let's start with the first one. We've got 144. Let's draw a nice big arrow. The same principles. We're counting in eights, so therefore we're going to begin by adding 10 and then subtracting 2. So adding 10 gives us 144 plus 10 is 154. And now we're going to subtract 2, which is 152. So the answer is 152. I'm just going to draw that dash a little bit across. There we go. The answer is 152. OK, now let's go to the next blank number. We've got 160. And we have to work out this blank number. What I'm going to do is just to draw these a little bit wider across. Now the same principles apply. We're going to add 10 and then subtract 2. Our starting number is 160. 160 plus 10 is 170. And then we're going to subtract 2. It becomes 168. The answer is 168. Now you should know this, if we've got the number, just to elaborate on this, if we've got the number 170 as here, just count backwards by 2. 170, 169, 168. And that is our answer. So you should be able to count backwards now. 
uh, sorry, I meant count backwards with larger numbers. The final missing number, again, we add 10 and we subtract 2. For this one, I am going to change colors just so that it's very clear. Our starting point is 168. So 168 plus 10 is 178. 178 minus 2 is 176. And that is our answer. So that is how we count in eights with numbers up to 200.